What do you get when you put a group of fanboys in a room with a mic? From video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary, nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Ditch, G-Roll, and Player 2, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. To the Peter and Al podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, it's time to put the Peter to oh, fuck to put those headphones in and with them Peter's Al because we're here with your newest Bad Bunny fan, <laughs> Pistol P <Pete> Junior, <laughs> and the infamous Jeezy Weezy, aka. Go Gurt McStuffin. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. So, uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. All that stuff. All that stuff. So, yeah, we didn't we didn't do any episodes over the holidays. Yeah, uh, we, we haven't done a, a show in like a year now. Yeah, yeah not since last year. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yeah, all of these were just nuts. The holidays were nuts. People got sick. Yeah. People didn't, you know. Getting sick, busy. Yep. Other stuff. Yep. And I'm not going around the family until I lose some weight because Brian lost all that weight. And then I was losing weight and then I stopped working out and I gained all my weight back. I'm <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not going around Brian because he's all skinny now and shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> so. Bad love, you mean? Bad love, yes. So I'm not, I'm not going around until I can. At least have something comparable. <laughs> it's like, you may be skinny, but at least I'm buff. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but, but can you lift But can you lift 14 million pounds, though? Exactly. Yeah, I, I hit 2 million pounds. According to the tonal. According to tonal. Um, so we got a lot of stories. Uh, have you seen the new Avatar film? No. Do you plan to see the new Avatar film? Not really. I'm, Avatar has... I, I find... I found the first movie to be kind of mid. Yeah, yeah. You know, when and, I first saw it, I was blown away by it. But, the, like, after watching it again and again and again, I'm like, eh. I mean, it's good. Yeah. But it's not like... I do, I do keep hearing good things about it. Yeah. And I might see it just because my sister is really into it. So she wants and she wants to watch it. Yeah, but it's three hours long. Yeah, it's three hours and fifteen minutes long. Yeah, so, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, me and Jasmine want to go see it. We saw it in IMAX. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, we saw it in IMAX 3D. <laughs> which, if you're gonna see it, you have to see it in 3D. Yeah, that's like that's what blew me away about the first one when I first watched because I watched it in theater, I watched it in IMAX, and I watched it in 3D, mm-hmm. and I remember being so blown away. So you remember in the first one when they blow up the tree and everything's on fire? Yeah. So that scene specifically, like, is in my, like embedded in my memory because I remember the 3D, like, you could see the ash in the air, and I was just like, holy, like, mm-hmm. like it's literally like, you know, like there's that there's that wall, like even with 3D, there's that wall where it kind of it stops, mm-hmm. and in that moment there was that that wall wasn't there, mm-hmm. and it was just so like, holy shit, this is mind blowing the way it looks. Yeah. Especially at that time. With this one, the whole movie is like, well, a majority of the movie takes place underwater. Gotcha. And the 3D is fucking nuts. Uh-huh. Like, I, I, I had a hard time breathing the whole time <laughs> I was watching the movie because I thought I was underwater. I thought I was underwater the whole time. No, just like the way that the way they move and the way it's imagine fun. somebody's a, somebody <laughs> like a bunch of people start drowning in in the ocean because they think they can breathe they underwater can... because like well I bre- I breathe the entire time then at three hour movie I can at least be under in the in the ocean for three hours three hours <laughs> have you have you heard that joke where like a because it's a common thing where like have you ever done that where you're watching a movie and so like an like action movie and they gotta oh we gotta swim under this bridge to get to escape. And like you hold your breath the whole time to see yeah. if, you, if you would have survived. Uh-huh. And so I was like, oh yeah, I do that. I almost died watching Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, you know what? Like, 
So the first hour of the movie is basically last time on Avatar. Really? <laughs> not, I mean, not so like it's it's a, a bunch of recap. It's Was a, there it's, a lot it's, of recap. It's a, the first like well, I say the first thirty minutes is recap. Uh huh. And then like okay, now it's like new plot, new plot point, and then I don't know. It's kind of hard. Like the first hour of it is basically just setting up. It's mm-hmm. just full. All it's like recap set up. Yeah. And I mean, it's not bad, but it's a little kind of like, all right, like what's what's happening. Mm. And then once, and then once, once, once it actually starts getting into everything, you're like, oh, okay, because mm-hmm. it's almost like the first movie again, because like they they could change it up, where it's like, <clears throat> remember the first movie, he becomes the, the the blue cat people, and then he has to learn how to be a cat person. Yeah. And like this movie, it's like this one is like now I'm a cat person, and like I'm a fucking awesome cat person, uh-huh. but now I gotta go with these other cat people. And learn how to live like these cat people. Uh-huh. So it's kind of like that. Like, the first hour is just, like, learning all over again. Are the other cat people uh, different? or? Yeah, they're different. There's, I mean, they're still cat people. As far but as looks, I mean? Slightly. They're uh-huh. lighter colored and they're, uh-huh. like, they're slightly, they're, they're evolved differently. Gotcha. And so... I remember you sent a story that uh, James Cameron intends to have fire Navi. Yes. So, so because me and Jenna were talking about, so we were talking about the, so not kind of the first one, because these ones are water Navi. Mm-hmm. That's why it's the way of the water, right? Gotcha. And what and, are, what are the OGs considered? The OG, well, that's what me and, we and me and Jenna were talking about. So I consider them like wood or like forest, like, or like earth Navi, uh-huh. because they lived in the forest and they were like, they were like monkeys. They're, they're used to moving through the trees. Mm-hmm. So they've evolved for the trees. Where the water navi, when you see them, like they have like a like a thing here, like a paddle, uh-huh. and then their tails are fat and like flipper like, mm. so they look different, mm. and then they can hold their breath longer and things like that. Uh-huh. I think they have the, gills. Does he does he fall in love and have a, a tail sex with one, with one of the <coughs> the new navi as well? No, but his son does. Uh, okay. he, he's got like eighteen kids, <laughs> <laughs> and, and one of them's human. No, they shouldn't have done that. He should be just going around fucking just banging all the different yeah, banging, banging all the different Navi, and then and then he makes like these super Navi, super, yeah, just uh, super hybrid. Just <laughs> it's like a super scroll. It can't have it has elements of everything. Yeah, <laughs> Earth, fire, and that's wind. how the Power Rangers are created. <laughs> no, they they create Captain Planet. Yeah. Um. But so yeah. So the 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 rumor is we'll see. <clears throat> what the fuck? I haven't been coughing. This whole time we start recording, yeah, recording and like I like, just cough up a lung. So the rumor was, well, originally I don't know if this is what the was what actually happened, but so what was supposed to happen? So they did the first movie, and they were supposed to record two and three together. Mm-hmm. So it was supposed to be just one long, and then like they just cut it, and then you would release the second half. But it, 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 it seems like they're changing. I think the villain in this one wasn't well received. Mm. So. Um, and I, I feel like the way this one ended, it can kind of go either way. Like you can continue with this villain or you can bring in a new villain and then like change this guy's story up. Oh, okay. (coughs) Is the villain still just the fucking government? No, I mean, yes and no. Uh Like, you want me to tell you or no? Yeah, tell me. I'm not not invested in this world at all. Okay, so do you remember the first, the villain, the main bad guy from the first one? Yeah. The guy with the the scars on his face? Uh Uh-huh. So, him and his squad of, of Marines, right before they went on that mission to, like, for the final mission where they all died, mm-hmm. they had their DNA cloned into avatars. Oh, okay. So now, Earth, uh, so, okay, and do you remember why the humans were on Pandora in the first place? No. No, so they were there mining a mineral called Oh, yeah, unobtainium, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so now the humans are back. Uh-huh. They they came back, so they hadn't been there, and all of a sudden they came back, and like the way they come back, this giant ship comes down and burns everything, like because it's like you know it's a rocket ship, yeah, and it's landing in the forest, but it's not just any rocket ship, it's like the size of a city, oh, okay, <laughs> it's like burning out a hundred square miles of fucking Jesus. forest, and uh, and so but what it is is we're looking for like Earth is dying, and this is gonna be our new home. But the whole point is, like, so 
Do you remember how, like, all the humans had to wear the masks? Yeah. Because the air's not breathable. Right. So it's like, we're just going to live in tubes? Well, they're going to they're gonna be not, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. But, <laughs> well, no, no, because they're still humans. So the only the only the people that the, all the guys that died in the first movie uh-huh. became Navi and like they're reincarnated. They, they're, so they basically brought they, it's all their personality and memory uh-huh. up until the point of that mission. Because uh-huh. so they got down, they got their brains downloaded and put into the Navi. So mm-hmm. they don't know how they died. They know they died because like they were Navi. Yeah, they were briefed and they're like, okay, well if you're a Navi, when you wake up, that means you died on your mission. <laughs> uh-huh. And so, he comes back. So the the main guy comes back. He's a Navi. They start learning the Navi ways, and they. So he had a son. They got left behind uh-huh. because he was an infant. They couldn't put him in cryo. Mm. And so they leave him. They, they literally leave a baby on the planet as they're escaping the planet. They leave one baby. One human. And <laughs> <laughs> <That's> dumb. <laughs> yeah. But so that human baby gets raised by the Navi. And, like, he's, like, a monkey kid, basically. Uh-huh. Like, the whole... Okay, so he starts off, he's a baby, and then, like, they show him growing up. And <laughs> by the time the humans come back, he's a grown-ass man. He's, like, in his mid-20s. No, I, I think he's a teenager. He might be a teenager. But he's wearing a loincloth, and he's, like, got fucking blue stripes on him and shit. Like, uh-huh. he's a fucking bush baby. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a grown-ass adult. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, so the guy... The, so the Navi comes back, and he was, like... I'm not really your dad, but I have your dad's memories. So I'm your dad. <laughs> and it's just weird, like, I hate you, but you're my dad. Loyalty kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, that's what people didn't like. It's like, like, is he a villain? Is he a Navi? What the fuck's happening here? Yeah. And so it's basically like they, they, like they sent in someone that's not going to, like, so they, Jake Soli, whole, his whole thing was, you're going to go in, become one of them, and then turn on him and... We're going to get the unobtainium. But he became one of them. So now, like, these guys, like, we know they're not going to fucking turn because these guys fucking hate the Navi. So they're just going to go in there and fuck them all up as Navi. Mm. One thing that bothered me. So remember the scars he had on his face? Yeah. So they go back to the where he died. And his, like, you know, that robot thing he was in is still there. And his skeleton's in there. And the guy picks up his own skull, mm-hmm. and he looks at it, and those those lines from the scar are on the skull. Like, that scar was that deep that it was on his skull? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be. I mean, it's possible, but, like, no, they were, like, <laughs> I don't know. They're, They're like, like, perfectly, perfectly the, the yeah. shape of the scar on his skin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, in case you're not sure whose skull this is. It's him. It's him. <laughs> He's got the scars. <laughs> Um, as as a Navi, does he have those scars? No, he doesn't. Which, yeah, I was, I was like, God damn it. He should have had scars. He might um, as well have had the scars. Yeah. <clears throat> but so then, yeah, so then, like, he, like, so Jake Sully's thing is, oh, they're hunting me. They're not going to fuck with the Navi if we leave. Mm-hmm. So they go to the water tribes and they're like, hey, we need to hide out. We can't tell you why, but we need to hide the fuck out. And they, be, and like, the, the water tribes are basically, uh, what are they? They're, um, Oh God! They're like Samoans or uh, um, or uh, New Zealanders. Mm. So that, that's basically the water tribes. Yeah. And then like uh, they like they have to learn to be water people. Like because they're like we can't you can't live here because your tree ways are useless here. And mm. they're like well we'll learn. And so then like they teach them how to be water people, and like they merge with these fucking whales. And, Oh, so it's whales instead it, of the dragon. Well, no, they had like well, they had these dragon fish things. Uh-huh. They look like they look like uh, barracudas, but they have mm. wings. Mm. So they like fly out of the water and they kind of fly a little bit, then they dive back in. Mm-hmm. And it, but it's it's the same thing. Remember when he was learning how to ride the horse and he kept falling off the horse? Yeah. Well, they do the same thing, but with the dragon fish thing. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so it's like the same thing. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it, the same. It, same. It, it's like the same principle, just. Fucking oh, done over. Yeah, done in the ocean. ocean. Reskin. Yeah, but see, the next movie supposedly the 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 Ash people or the Fire Navi uh-huh. are gonna be the villains. Mm-hmm. So, I'm I'm assuming they're gonna be red. <laughs> I mean, they better be red, <laughs> yeah, right? If they're the Fire Navi, they can't, they can't be blue. Yeah, they're gonna be blue with red stripes. Yeah, 
Because, yeah, so the... The, 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 Amer- the America Navi. <laughs> <laughs> but because the, the, the Forest Navi, they were like a dark blue. Uh-huh. And then the Ocean Navi, they were like a like a turquoise, like ocean greenish blue. And so, and then, they, and then instead of having like the way their stripes were there, like their stripes were all like tribal, like, like fucking the, the tribal tattoos, but like all over their faces and shit. Yes. Yeah, it was, it, I mean, it sounds corny, but it was actually done really well. Hmm. So, but that, so that movie's taking a lot of heat. They're like, indigenous people are not aliens. Oh. And so there's a whole like, like. I mean, uh, I don't think it, it's, it has nothing to do with being indigenous. It's just exactly. It's like these are tribes. They're like yeah, it's aliens. Like, but they're saying that they're mocking indigenous people and native people and tribes. And it's like you know what? It's a movie. Fuck off. Hmm. How many t- like? <laughs> it's the same thing. It's just it's they're Indians because they're trying to colonize another. Yeah, it's another basically thing. yeah. It's yeah. It's uh, that's it's what just it is. humans trying to colonize another planet. Yeah, and these people are just trying to live peacefully with the planet. Yeah, it, it, it's, that's that's the only comparison to. Other than that, they're six foot. They're wait, no, they're seven foot tall, carbon fiber skeleton blue people. Yeah, and get out of here. <laughs> Why does he look like me? <laughs> no, he's not. You're, he's a cat person. You're not a cat person. Um, oh, that that, that that picture, the one that's that's those are the dragon fish things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then, so then the other guys, the, the villains, the, the marines, mm-hmm. they get their own dragons. So the son, the son takes them, like, like, if you want to hunt them, you're going to need these dragons. And it's like, okay, well, they're going to go and tranquilize them and, like, do it, like, the easy way. And they're like, no, Jake Sully, he wouldn't have fought one with his bare hands. And so if Jake Sully fought it with his bare hands, then the other guy has to go fight it with his bare hands. Yeah. And so he does it. But instead of, like, like you know how the Navi have, like, all the, like, the rope and, like, they make their own saddles out of the leaves and... So the the Marines have all these tactical like fucking like a saddle with like it's all like mesh and like it's it looks like a military like fucking harness. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it was pretty funny. It's like it's all the forest shit but military style. Oh okay. So I mean it looked cool, but it was fun. Like it was just funny. Cool. Yeah. Um, dude, we had a lot of news. We have. Yeah. What other about. news we got? Yeah. Uh, dude. Okay. So. Uh, Super Mario World, Super Nintendo World. I keep saying that. I keep saying Super Mario World. Opens February 17th, Universal Studios Hollywood. Mm-hmm. So the one in Japan has already opened up and it's been huge. Oh, I gotta show you. So we got we got a popcorn bucket. It's a superstar and it lights up. And then we got a drink cup and it's the, the super mushroom. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're fucking cool. <laughs> um, I mean, so Universal is so they're, they're already doing merch stuff? Yeah, they're already doing merch. Uh, they already have. So so they're even outside in City Walk, they already have a, a Super Nintendo World store. Mm. Where it's just all... But see, the thing is, it's all Mario. Everything in the store, everything they're selling is Mario. They're calling it Super Nintendo World. Yeah. There's, no, there's no Zelda. <coughs> there's no... Yeah. May, and maybe that'll come later on. Yeah. But like, even when you look at the world, it's, it's fucking... It's, it's the mushroom Mario kingdom. World, yeah. Yeah, it's the Mushroom Kingdom. Which, I mean, I get that's like Nintendo's bread and butter. Yeah. Yeah, but it like just call it Super Mario World and that. Yeah, and not Super Nintendo World. Are they at least selling <clears throat> other stuff than Mario? Um, I'm trying to think of... They, You know what? No, they had some cool, like, Nintendo gear. Like, So, like, they had, like, a shirt that was, like, a... Uh, it looked like a Nintendo cartridge. Mm-hmm. And I forgot what it said on it now. And I wanted to buy it so bad, but I forgot what it said. I think it said Universal... Like, the, you know, like, the old sticker? Yeah. But it said, like... It had, like, Universal Studios Hollywood or whatever it was. And then, um... They had some cool, like, non-Mario stuff, but it was, like, Nintendo only. It wasn't, like, Zelda. It wasn't any other type of character. It was Mario or Nintendo. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So I mean, which is cool. The Like, the the, the land, because like, you can see it, like, as you're going through certain areas. Like, you have, like, a top-down view of it. Because, you know, like, there's the two levers. To, you know, so when you're in the upper level, you can look down and see the whole thing. And it looks fucking, like, dude, it looks like the fucking Mushroom Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Like honestly, like okay, watch going there made me want to watch the Super Mario movie like so bad. Yeah, <laughs> like, I do. Yeah, I do. I do want to watch the movie. It's, it's just, just Chris Pratt. It's just Chris Pratt. It feels. It feels like they just didn't give a fuck about about the voice. about Mario. Yeah, thing. yeah. 
So it just kind of sucks. Like, you, like it makes you not want to see it, but the the rest of the movie looks great. It looks great, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward. To even it. with Charlie Day, like, you, like yeah, even it, Luigi, it's kind of like it seems fine, but it's not Luigi. But it, yeah, it's not necessarily Lu- Luigi. Yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, uh, um, Keegan Michael Key though, he's fucking killing Toad. Like, yeah, he's they're doing, doing good. Jack Black does a uh, Bowser. Amazing. Bowser, amazing, yeah. I, we haven't heard uh, DK yet, right? No, we've no. only seen him, but we haven't heard him talk yet. Yeah, we haven't heard Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. No, and then Peach. Peach is Peach. Is, yeah. Like, Peach doesn't have like a... <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have a... She, yeah, she doesn't have a personality that I'm like... Yeah. I need this displayed. Yeah. She's just there. I, I just want to hear Donkey Kong go... <laughs> 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 You got to. <laughs> but so yeah, I, I, I like so on Monday since we we got the platinum pass on Monday the reservations for the first day go live. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna try to get reservations for the first day. Oh, okay. So we can get in. But yeah, I'm, I mean, and I'll report back on the awesomeness. Of yeah. It. So because so the ride that the, the opening ride is gonna be uh, it's Bowser's Mario Kart. You're gonna Kart. explain your entire experience frame by frame. Frame by frame, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, well, it's, it's Bowser's Mario Kart challenge, uh-huh. and it's basically your Mario Kart. And like, like I've seen video of the Japanese one, mm-hmm. and so it's basically you're in Mario Kart, and you can attack the other cars with power ups. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I'm like, but it's like you're. It's like I think it's six people to a car. Oh, okay. So it's not like you're in an individual. It's like a six people in a car. And then they, they're going to have, like, these wristbands. Mm-hmm. So you can, like, uh... So there's going to be, like, like power-up blocks. And, you, like, in the park, just around. So if you have the wristband, you can go to it and, like, tap it. And, like, you'll get the sound effects. And, like, you might... I think there's something you can do. Like, there's missions you can do in the world. Hmm. But you need the wristband to access it. Oh, and if okay. you have the wristband when you go on the ride, you can use, power like, more power-ups in the ride. So... I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. I want to check it out, so. Um, did we talk about... Uh, let me talk about Spider-Man, Black Adam. Uh, let me see here. Oh, Kojima. <laughs> did, you, did you see this thing about Kojima wanting to become an AI? Uh, I think so. So he, he says that, you know, as he ages, he wants to, uh, <coughs> he says he's not going to die. Mm-hmm. He says he'll probably stick around as an AI or something. Yeah. Like he's planning to download his brain into a machine somehow, which <coughs> they're already kind of doing. They're, yeah. They're already kind of doing. So if he can, if he can just stick around and keep making video games, mm-hmm. I am all for that. <laughs> um, <coughs> You sent something about Mar no not Mar- Metal Gear Metal Gear yes, yeah. and when I first saw it, I was like, oh fuck yeah, I need more Metal Gear in my life. And then I thought about it, and it's like it's Metal Gear without Kojima. Without Kojima, so who knows? Yeah, Is he- Metal Gear Survive two. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, what kind of metal? What am I getting out of this? And I'm like, I don't. I don't want that Metal Gear. I want Kojima's vision. I want his characters. I want his stories. Yeah. And, and so unless it's like a unless it's remakes, then yeah, unless it's remakes. Remi- if it's remakes, I'm all in. I'm gonna buy them. I know they could. Look, and it's like, yeah, I don't want to give Konami more money, but it's Metal Gear, and it's Metal Gear, Metal Gear, not like. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping that's what it is. I'm hoping that it's gonna be. Remaster or not remasters, but remakes of maybe the NES games, maybe the uh, it's probably literally be, any of the games. Yeah, <laughs> it's it probably, doesn't it's, matter which one. Yeah, more than likely it'll be solid. It'll be all the solid games. Think so? Yeah, I doubt they're gonna do the NES games. Which, but it would still be cool. The NES games are just the Metal Gear. They're called Metal Gear. Yeah, it's Metal Gear One and Two, and then there's Metal Gear Solid. That's mm-hmm. the uh, Metal Gear Solid are all the three D games. So, oh, yeah. So I finished High on Life. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I would probably I would probably give it an eight. 
It's pretty good. I don't think it's better than Trover. Really? No. It looked better than I think Trover... Well, the issue is for me that I wouldn't give it to Trover, give it over Trover, is that the jokes seem too similar. Ah, uh, yeah. Right? You know, I was kind of afraid of that, because it's, like, it's a similar game. Yeah. So. Yeah, so a lot, a lot of the times the jokes that probably, that landed for me in Trover, they don't seem to land completely in this game just because it feels like, like yeah, I've heard it already. It's yeah. not, it's not new. But there is some a lot of stuff that's that is funny. Right. Like you find some like people that are is like three brothers, one, and one sells. Um, as part of the story, he he has like a he has like some sort of animal, and it just like shits on you or pisses on you, and it like leaves like a yellow thing, so it looks so you look like the other, all the enemies in the game. Yeah. And then another guy just sells alien cum. And then they, and they're like, oh yeah, dude, our 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 last brother, he's uh he 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 really hates us because we sell you know bodily fluids from either ourselves or or, or other people or other things, and he's just and he he's just really on a high horse. And then, uh, they say, you finally meet him at the end of the game, or or at some point, I don't remember if it's at the end, but then, but then he's like, yeah. You know, my my brothers are fucking gross. They're fucking selling alien co- alien cum and all this. I just sell insurance. I just sell health <laughs> insurance. <laughs> and it's like, but nobody's buying fucking health insurance. So you know, I'm gonna I forget what he ends up selling at the end. I think it's uh, is it is it his own shit? <laughs> I think it, he it's something he starts selling something gross like that. That's funny. That shit's funny. Nice. I I want to play it so fucking bad. Yeah. That's why, so, oh, uh, you know about the Tesla, right? You know what happened? No. Oh, you don't know? So I don't know if you noticed it. I don't have it anymore. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't realize that. Yeah, so it, it's, it's gone. Uh-huh. Um, You're protesting Elon? No, no, yeah, yeah, I'm protesting Elon. No, um, I'm trying to buy a new one as soon as possible. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so what happened is I got into it on, on, the December, on December 1st on my way to work. I got rear-ended. Uh-huh. Tiny tiny damage uh-huh. little like a crack in the bumper and one fucking sensor <clears throat> knocked out of line uh-huh. took it to the body shop because i want to get like i want to get it repaired right away so take it to the body shop this place has 50 years i'm not gonna say the name of the place but they have 50 years of experience and like 60 percent of their business now is tesla so uh-huh. like, fuck yeah like we'll t- they'll take care of us yeah they're like a verified tesla spot yeah and like the tesla app recommended them so i'm like fuck yeah you yeah. know they had the car for about a week, and they, you know, okay, we ordered your parts. Then they had it for, you know, like a couple of days later, they call me, and I'm thinking, okay, well, they got my parts, they put the bumper on, like, you know, it's a quick job. I'm going to pick it up. Um, unfortunately, we have bad news. Your car is now a total loss. What the fuck do you mean my car is a total loss? Mm-hmm. Someone broke into their part, into their, into their lot. Mm-hmm and targeted a specific vehicle. They went and looked for a truck that was in there, mm-hmm. threw something into it, and set that truck on fire. Mm-hmm. That set my car... That car, that truck was right next to my car. Mm-hmm. So that set my car on fire. Uh-huh. And so half of my car burnt. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. <laughs> so I took it in for tiny, minor damage here. Check this out. And I'll, I'll, I'll share this on the Instagram too. I don't care. But so... Let me see if I have the damage still. The damage was literally, look at it. You can barely see it. It's a little like a, like a crack in the bumper. Right. Tiny damage, right? And so this is. That's your car now, is the car now? That's my Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking wild. So, you know, I mean, you know, we're, we're dealing with that, but. So the reason I bring all this up is because I want, I'm trying to, hopefully I'm going to upgrade to an S or an X mm-hmm. because Tesla just announced. What was that one, a three? A three, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the Tesla just announced that the, so you know how I can play games. It came with a bunch of Atari games, Sonic the Hedgehog, Stardew Valley. Yeah. And the games are great. The games are fun. But so I, if I wanted to play games, I had to plug, I had to get my PlayStation controller, plug it into the USB and I had to, I had to play wired. Mm-hmm. The new S and X models are going to have full, full wireless. 
and they're going to be able to play Steam games. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because they have the AMD uh, graphics cards in. Gotcha. So they have one, like, it's a full, basically you have a gaming PC right. in the car. Yeah. That's and cool. now you'll be able to have access to a full Steam library. Yeah, that makes sense because it's basically, now you basically have, like, a Steam Deck. Which, yeah. Which is great. Yeah. So, so if, if, I, if, I, if I upgrade, I'm definitely going to play High Life. <laughs> is it on Steam? Yeah, it's on Steam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw it. <laughs> I got it on Game <coughs> Oh no! Oh, yeah, you got it through. Um, but see that that actually brings up another story I have. Um, Sony announced they're putting out their own car called a Fila. A F E E L A. And I'm not fan, I'm not a fan of the body. Yeah. But did you have, did you see this one when I posted it? What is it? Did you, did you, oh, tabbed off. Um, what what car does that look like? It looks like a car that um. It looks like a Ford Probe to me. Yeah, kind of. Huh? But like like, I look, like, like the steering wheel is dope. Uh, they got a Morbius background. Yeah, but, the steering wheel is cool. They've been doing that a lot lately with the with the half steering wheel. Yeah, like the, the Formula One steering wheel type. That's. Fortnite. What about Fortnite? Look at look at the 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 lights. Oh okay. So the lights are like all a, around all around the car. Yeah. Mm. So you can like customize your wallpaper on your grill. And in your dashboard. Interesting. And so I'm like, Shh. oh, then it has it has built in built in uh, screens in the back. This is this is just a concept car at the moment. But it's got panoramic screens, fully customizable. Mm-hmm. Panoramic screens on the outside of the vehicle that are customizable. I don't think all that's gonna be possible. I doubt it. If it is, it's gonna be like a, like a fucking three hundred thousand dollar car. Probably, <laughs> yeah. But it, it's like yeah, it's gonna be like a crazy expensive like novelty car. Well, no. See, the thing is, like, well, if you look at it, it's only the grill for the screens. I should say so the, for the outside. So like that front grill and and in the back have like like so in between the in between the headlights and in between mm-hmm. the taillights. It's like a like a LED not an LED strip but a yeah LED screen. Or, yeah. So, I mean that's not too crazy, especially considering the prices of mm-hmm. the screens nowadays. I don't know about Sony making cars though. Again, that's yeah. But okay, but they have. Like they work- can put all these bells and whistles on it, but is it going to be safe? Yeah. Well, anything? they have been working with Honda. Oh, okay. So cause Honda's the next electric car. Uh, I think we talked about it a couple episodes back. Then their next electric car is going to have a PS5 built in. Mm. So just like the Tesla had their games, well, this is going to have a PS5. Okay. Which, that's, to, to me, that's a hard sell. Like, okay, I can get the, the S or the X with the Steam. And I, I'd have to kind of rebuild my library. Or I can get the fucking Honda with the PS5 and have my full PS5, PSN fucking library in there. Mm-hmm. Which is like, shit, that's... <laughs> well... No, well, here's a, the Steam. Steam is way cheaper. Yes, I know Games that. Are way cheaper. Yes, and then there are constantly uh, on and sale. sales are constantly on sale. Yeah. It's hap- happening um, in comparison to PlayStation. Yeah. So you wouldn't be working yeah. over as much money. Yeah. And at the same time, I imagine you're probably going to be playing like the shorter. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna like you're not going to be playing fucking, uh, you know, I'm not El- like, Elven Ring or... Yeah, in the car. Or anything like that in the car. But see, but see, the thing is, is if I did, I could upload my saves to the cloud and then just... So, like, if I'm, at the, if I'm here playing and then I got to go somewhere, I can go there, play in the car, and then continue where I left off at the house. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that's, I mean, that's something pretty tempting. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Because, see, mainly the only time that I really, like, in the Tesla, the only time I really played is when we were charging. Because, like, yeah. you know, you're there for 30 to 40 minutes to pop, you know? Yeah, but, it, but at the same time, if you're if you're playing anything big, like God of War or all that, That's are you just going to, are you, oh, oh, my car is finally fully charged. Or yeah. are you just going to stay there and be like, let me play another game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let me, let me, get let me just get past this to the next mission. That, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Here, let's take a quick break, and then we'll come back. After a word from our sponsors. What's going on, people? It's Pistol Pete Jr. here. Just to remind you one more time to check out Ray's Energy Drinks by Rep Sports. Ray's Energy Drinks. 
amazing flavors. Zero sugar, zero dyes, zero crash. None of the junk, none of the bullshit that's in these other energy drinks. They're amazing. Uh, I guarantee you're going to love them. Use coupon code TRPS for checkout. Get 15% off your order. Check out repsports.com. R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com. Again, use coupon code TRPS uh, for 15% off your order and to let them know that we sent you. And we're back. One more game. So, yeah. So, you said they're going to postpone Power Slap. So, let me hear. Let me pull up the story because I did have that. So, I guess it's going to be somebody else. It's someone else I guess, running it now. I guess uh, Dana White was going to be running it. Yeah, because it, it was supposed to be his thing. But now it's going to be somebody else instead of him because he was in all, in some uh, domestic dispute with his wife. So here, I have the, I have the video here. So it's, it's, that's Dana White and his wife. Is it bad? So she slaps the hell of him and so he, 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 just, sma- smacks he just smacks her, her back. So. Watch. Is this after? I don't know. Bam. She sucker punched him, and he just smacked her back. And then he, they, they just kind of slap fight a bit, and then they, like. So I, so I guess he slapped her twice. Yeah, it's not super bad. I, I mean, it's still not, it's, it's yeah, still not acceptable, but it's not. It, yeah, it's not like he beat the shit. It out seems of her. reactionary, like oh, you just hit me, and like you just kind of hit somebody back. Yeah, and doing that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's still not good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, they, that's the thing, it's like, there's this kind of stigma, like, as a matter of fact, so Player 2 was here earlier, we were, we were bullshitting, and like, cause I, like, he was giving me shit about the, the, the bag, and mm-hmm. I, I, I like it cause of the knee strikes and grappling and shit, mm-hmm. he goes, so you practice beating the shit out of people, like, with the bag, but like, how are you gonna beat the shit out of, it's like, and so I told, I was like, think about it, what was the last time you beat the shit out of somebody? Mm-hmm. He was like, well, she goes, I can't even remember. I go, so do you think you could still beat the shit out of somebody today? Mm-hmm. Like, right, and like in your head, you're like, yeah, I know I could beat somebody's ass because I've done it in the past. Mm-hmm. But when was the last time you've actually done it? Yeah. <laughs> do you still have the ability uh, to beat ass? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's that machismo, that there's that, that macho, like, oh, I'll, like, like someone hits me, I'll hit him, I'm going to hit him back. Mm-hmm. But, because that, like, but that in, in, in reality and as an adult, yeah. you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Like as as a kid, as a teenager, and young adult, you can get into fights. You can fight somebody at a bar. You can fight like. But as an adult, fighting somebody has real world consequences. Yeah. Like like, everybody talks about like oh if I could beat my boss's ass, but you can't. And the reason you can't is not because you physically can't. Yeah. Because if you do it, if you do, you're fucking you're fucking yourself. Yeah. Not only, not only are you gonna be in trouble, you're ruining your life probably forever. Exactly. And Dana White, being in the position he is, mm-hmm. being in the career he's in, yeah, and being in the public eye, reacting like that, yeah, is like he could he could have been he could have she slapped him, and again he's it looks like they were drinking, like you said it's reactionary, but at the same time, like. How easy would it have been to just walk away? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, okay, she slapped me. All right, you know what? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to take myself out of the situation so this doesn't escalate. Yeah. You know? But and now, I mean, it's costing them a fucking a show, mm-hmm. which is potentially, like, I don't see, I don't see it being huge, you know? It yeah. might, it might, it's going to have a big pop. Yeah, I think I think maybe like this first season that they do is yeah, gonna, gonna be huge. just because it's like the it, first like mainstream power slap like uh, slap fighting thing. Yeah, but after, I think after that it's probably gonna be like, oh yeah, you hear about that slap fight? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Have you Have you seen the one where they where it's like an MMA match in a car? No, I don't. I, I I've only seen clips of it, so I, like I, it, it, from what it looks like, it's. They have it's like the front half of a car, so they have the hood, the windshield, dashboard, and the two front drive the driver and passenger seat, right? And there's no back seat because of the cameras. And so both fighters are buckled up, mm-hmm. and then when the timer goes off, you have to unbuckle yourself and then just start fighting. Mm-hmm. And everyone that I've seen so far, 
one guy gets unbuckled first, and the other guy's sitting there just getting punched in the fucking head while he's trying to unbuckle. Yeah. <laughs> I saw one guy, he grabs up steep belt and starts choking him with it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a little... They're getting like too crazy with yeah. the, with like the the spin off MMA. <laughs> but my favorite thing about it is okay, you know how like when you're watching UFC or boxing or whatever, it has like you know the fighters' names at the bottom of the thing, and it has like the the time mm-hmm. and all that. So the lettering that they used for the fighters' names is the GTA. Like it's literally like you know the on screen HUD for GTA, all the text, the font. Right. That's what's on screen. So it's the fighter's name in that GTA font. <laughs> like, it's just like... <laughs> Jeez. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. Um, for the other fight. No, I was going to bring this one up because... Oh, uh, where'd it go? I literally said it right before we came back from break and I can't remember what it was now. God damn it. Oh, uh, Andrew Tate. It's not nothing to do with the show. Andrew Tate. Um, he's going to be a guest on the podcast next week. He's coming up next week, yeah. I mean, uh, well, if he, is, is, is he out of the Romanian prison now or jail? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I don't think, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it might, be, it might be a Zoom call. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Um, so, how old is, what's her name, Greta Thunberg, or what's her name? She's like 19. 19 now, 20. yeah. Uh, it took him... Randomly calling her out for some fucking reason? No, that's not true. None of that's true. No, okay, because I, 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 it's, I, it's coincidence. Oh, and okay. she's 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 a gangster for being like, oh yeah, that's what happens when you when you don't recycle your pizza boxes after. But uh, other than, other than that, she's it's just coincidence. Okay, so I, they've been they they knew they were already on his on his trip. Ah, okay, okay. Because I, I, the the story the story that I had was okay. So it was his video response. So he called her out saying something about randomly mm-hmm. just about his cars, mm-hmm. like like oh my carbon footprint because of all these cars. Yeah, and she was like, oh tell me more about it at Small Dick Energy, uh, ha- at GetALife dot com, mm-hmm. and like a fucking child, that like so okay like you lost the exchange whatever mm-hmm. get over it right, mm-hmm. but he had to make a video and comes on and is like, oh I don't know why she's giving me her email address why is her email address a small dick energy. I don't know why that's her email address. Cause, like the whole video is basically him saying that's her email address. <laughs> She's saying, "Oh, email me at my email address, small dick energy." Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like somebody who goes who who gets made fun of and he goes, "That doesn't even make sense." Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> doesn't even make sense, dude. Doesn't even make sense. Yeah. It's what do you mean I have small dick energy? It doesn't even it doesn't even make sense. And so <laughs> the story that I had said that they could they I guess. They, they, it said that they were on his trail, but it didn't say like that they were that close. But it said they confirmed that he was in Romania because of like the pizza box. It was like, like a, it's a Romanian pizza chain, mm-hmm. and they're like, okay, well, we can confirm that he's now in Romania. Yeah, they're saying. They, they, I don't. I have a feeling Romania doesn't give a shit. About, yeah, yeah, about yeah. That. And uh, I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's just been confirmed that it's all just been coincidence. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Okay. But that, that's what, that's what, that, so the video I said was like, it was her, because he made that video response with the whole pizza boxes, that, like, they zoom in on the pizza boxes and it's clearly like, oh, okay, so now we know where he's, so we can find their records and that's how they found him. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't human trafficking though. That's what the initial stories were, was like, it's human trafficking. Well, that's because that, those were the rumors, like. That's why he fled. For, and, for a long time, he's, they've been saying like, oh, he's, a, he's in human trafficking. And then now that he's getting arrested, they're like, you see, human yeah, trafficking. Yeah. But it was, but no, um, it's a, supposedly tax evasion. Yeah, and tax evasion and money laundering, what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Which is believable, which I believe yeah. he would be doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Him and his brother. Yeah. And so I, so I think, what, the brother got released already? I don't know. I, don't, I haven't followed it closely, but okay. I think one of them got released. I, I think the brother got released, but not not Andrew. Uh, I just, I to me, it was just funny the fact that he made that video. Like, yeah, <laughs> like he got so he got old. He was just like he had to come back and was like, nope, it, no, that's her email address. That's not my email. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Um, let me see here. Uh, yeah, oh. it was silly. He was, yeah, it was very childish of him. Yeah. For that whole thing. Um, Five Nights at Freddy? Freddy's? Uh-huh. Is getting a movie? 
and it's starring Matthew Lillard and uh, Josh Hutcherson. Josh Hutcherson, isn't he the guy from Scream, the first one? Josh Hutcherson, I don't know if he's in Scream, but he's in, uh, he's from uh, Hunger Games. Okay, maybe I'm he's confusing a, him with somebody else. He's, what's his name? The, the blonde guy? Let me see his. Is he blonde? Is he blonde in the movie? He was in Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yeah, that too. Zathura. He's mm-hmm. a kid in Zathura. Yep. Um, he was in RV. He's in Howl's Moving Castle? He might be a voice in there, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll be damned. Oh, he's in the new Red Dawn? He's yeah, in, yeah, he is. He's in Big Hero 6. Maybe yeah, he's in a lot of shit that I've seen. All right. So, but yeah, so he's going to be in the new Five Nights at Freddy movie. Um, dude, did you know there's a new Ultraman movie coming out? No. Do you, I, I, you know who Ultraman is, right? Uh, yeah, I'm familiar. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, like, I was, when we were watching uh, Avatar, the trailer came out, and I'm just like, like, first of all, I was like, when, when I'm watching the trailer, the, the way they're doing it, it's like this, like, like flashing screen, and it's like... So, you know, like, they're doing black, 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 and flash, black, flash, flash. And it's like, they're showing the boots. Mm-hmm. And then they're going up the leg. And I'm like, I recognize that suit. What is this? Uh-huh. And, like, as, as, like, as they're showing the character, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Why are they showing Ultraman? What's going on here? And it's like, Ultraman movie. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. And Jasmine's just looking at me like, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? I'm like, they're making it up. Or they like, they made an Ultraman movie. There's a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> and she's just like, okay. <laughs> and I'm sitting there geeking the hell. Out. <laughs> like, because uh, I, I, I like right before the Power Ranger thing hit big, they had they they had translated all the Ultraman shows and played them in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of what led to the popular, like what led them to doing the Power Ranger thing, it was because Ultraman was, it became so popular, like that they were like, okay, well let's use that, but let's make one that we can translate to, like actually make. Yeah. In the US. Is Power Rangers U.S. or is it? The original one was initially filmed in well, it's they filmed it in Japan, mm-hmm. and then they just cut all the, any, all the non-action scenes, mm-hmm. like anything that had to do with the school. They just cut all that and filmed it with an American cast. Oh, okay. And so all, but all the action, so when they're fighting, they're the, when, whenever they're in the suits, mm-hmm. that's from the Japanese show. Oh, okay. And I think that's how it, no, no, after the, after the first season though, I think that they. It's just been all American. It's, yeah, it's been all American. But yeah, the, the original, the like Power Rangers was, it was a Japanese show. They just, so, but with Ultraman, all they did was they just translated it. They had, they uh, dubbed it. Oh, okay. But with with the Power Rangers, they filmed the whole all the new scenes with the American cast and just kept the Japanese action. And then mm-hmm. because because you can't see their faces or see their mouths move, they don't need to. They just dubbed it, and you can't really tell. Yeah, it's just the actions are different. Interesting. Which I mean, which I mean, think about it is is pretty brilliant. Like you're saving the production cost of having to film a whole new set, build all this shit. All you're doing is filming out of high school. Yeah. But, you know. Um, have you ever gotten into Warhammer 4000? No. I've always wanted to get into it. Like, I remember me and Michael, and I want to, I think, because I think Michael Danny was, in, not, not in Warhammer specifically, but a Warhammer-like tabletop game, mm-hmm. where you had your character, and you moved, like, like, uh, like, you had, like, so, like, you have area of attack stuff, and so, um, we, me and Michael, and I think Michael Daddy, I think he's the one that took us to one of those, like, you know, those game, game workshops or work, yeah, that's what they call called, game workshops. Uh-huh. And we played like a demo version of it, like where they have, they already had the table set up. Like, okay, you're going to play this character and you're going to roll this dice and this, so it's like, you're using this machine gun and like, it affects this area. And they had this like little template that they would put down and mm-hmm. like, so anything within this area takes damage. Okay. And it was like, it was like, it's like Dungeons and Dragons, but you have like, it's less, it's less about your character and more about your art, your, your, your battalion. Yeah. 
You know, so it's like, it's not an individual character. You're a general leading all this stuff. And it seemed fun as hell, but I, like, like, I remember, like, the starter set was, like, 60 bucks. And I'm, like, a teenager, and I'm like, ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, you know. You can't make that. Yeah. And it was like, okay. And then, like, and that's just, that's like the starter set with the dice, the fucking one, one fucking soldier. Like, it's yeah. Like, yeah, no, I'm not getting just expensive. And then you got to paint them all yourself. So I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome, but no. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but so apparently Henry, Henry Cavill, or Henry Cavill, is, uh, is super into Warhammer. Mm-hmm. So much so. That he is creating a Warhammer cinematic universe. He's literally going to make movies. Yeah. So I know the games are huge and I know it has a huge following. But it was one of those things that I couldn't get into. But I'm willing to check out a movie. Yeah, a movie. Because the, be the, the lore always seems super interesting to me. It's like they're space marines, but like they're... Like, they have giant armor, and they're, like... It's, like, there's, like, religious aspects to it, where, like, there's this whole cult of people that are... Like, the villains are, like, a cult kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the space marines are... It's, like... Like, this cult is so big, that it's, like, got multiple planets on Earth, so I can think. Yeah. And, like, the space marines are trying to wipe out this cult, and this cult... So I think it's, like, dark magic or something like that. Yeah, it does seem cool. Yeah, it's, like... It's, it's, it, aren't there two different games? There's, like, a, a RTS-type game? Yeah. And then, Warhammer, and then there's an RPG? Yes. Is that what okay. Yeah. Is that like first person or third person? I think it's first person. I've, I've only ever played one of the really old RTS games. Mm-hmm. And that was a lot of fun, but it wasn't my game, and I wasn't like, I was playing at somebody else's house. Uh-huh. And, and I, I enjoyed it, but not enough to, like, I'm going to go buy this game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Marvel, on the other hand, so they want to keep the, I mean they, they, they planted the seeds to keep uh, Black Panther alive mm-hmm. in sequence but now they're looking at making a prequel Black Panther oh yeah it did. that seems cool though yeah I, I, like I, the, I think that's a great idea yeah like the, old, the first Black Panther the first Black Panther and yeah yeah because it, it's a story that can focus just on the Black Panther his, his origins and like they don't really need to build it into the MCU it's just more about this this character and how it became yeah <laughs> um and then like like the, supposedly some of the the um concept art for the sh- for the movie has leaked mm-hmm. and like like this armor yeah the armor looks fucking sick. black panther looks insane like it looks badass so i mean i'm i'm all i'm all in on this <laughs> And it's going to be called Bashenga, the first Black Panther. Bashenga. Bashenga. Well, who does the Black Panther get to see in the... Uh... In the answer? I think he I think he probably still see his... Would he still see his... Oh, no, no. I, I think he, see, he sees the Panther God. Because mm. I think that's what it was. The Panther God came to him. Maybe. Because remember in Black Panther 2, they're like... The other people, it was like the serpent God came to us and told us to go into the ocean and get this herb mm-hmm. and so th- with him it was a panther god that told him to get the herb mm. and I think he, I think they commune with the panther god and that's how he became the black panther gotcha and then after that it's the ancestral thing yeah cause I think even in black panther when he goes to the ancestral plane I think he doesn't he see a panther I think he does oh no they're all panthers remember on the tree oh that's right and his then... whole they're all panthers and then like but that's, they, they, they turn and they go oh that was his dad yeah that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm all for that. Other Marvel news, Donald Glover. See, I want Donald Glover to play the Prowler. They already planted the seeds for it. Well, he's going to be something else now, isn't he? He's going to be Hypno Hustler, which is a villain. Spider-Man villain. Yeah. With an afro, and he's got these things that say super funk on his knuckles, and he's like a disco fucking super villain, which... I'm all in for it because I think Donald Glover would kill the fuck yeah, out of that role. I wonder, I wonder how depressed he'd be though because he always wanted to be Spider-Man. He wanted now, to be Miles, yeah. And now he's only just, he's just, he's a Spider-Man he, he has a cell, a cell for just being his villain. Yeah. I mean, I think still being in the Spider-Man movie or being that, like, because he's way too, like, well, and, and he's played, he's voiced Miles Morales. Yeah. 
that's and true. he's been in like this will be his second Spider-Man movie. Mm-hmm. I think I think because I oh man, but I would love to see him as a prowler just because like they planted that seed already, where you know. Yeah, that's right. He's already been he's already been in a Spider-Man movie. Yeah. So. So I think I think that would be awesome. Um, Jason Momoa and John Cena are teaming up for an action comedy, and honestly, I want it to be season two of Peacemaker, and then just Aquaman is just there following, like just Aquaman's just coming at him all the time. Like yeah. I heard you saying, "I fuck fish." I don't fuck fish. fish. And they just go on a fucking... Like, they become best friends by the end of it. Like, Aquaman hates them for spreading the rumors. (laughs) And they just become best friends by the end of it. (laughs) Like, Aquaman kidnaps them and fucking... The whole season two is Aquaman kidnapped fucking Peacemaker and Peacemaker's trying to get away. Yeah, he's (laughs) like, get away from me, (laughs) fishmonger. Owen Wilson is playing Bob Ross in the Bob Ross... Like uh, that biopic that works. Oh, dude, not look. No, look at that. Yeah, that's perfect. That's fucking yeah. Owen Wilson yeah. looks just like fucking Bob Ross. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I gotta see this. Some happy trees. Wow. <laughs> you know, you know, he did not like his afro. He hated the afro, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Yeah. Then why did he have it? So he had it because. So what happened was. He was growing out his hair. Mm-hmm. He wanted to grow it long, like hippie hair. Yeah. And but he had curly hair, so it just he, kept going. No, out. But he had, no, he had curly hair. And like, I guess he had, he would comb it straight. Uh-huh. And then there was one time that like the, the when they were gonna film the pilot episode, something happened with the, it was his blow dryer. Something happened where he just couldn't straighten his hair, and so he went in with the afro. And the peep, the, the studio that was gonna put out a show, they were like, "We love the hair. Yeah, you got to keep the hair." And he was like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, that's why that's why that's why he kept the afro. That's funny. Um, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, <laughs> I wonder if they'll do that in the movie. They got it, right? They got to. They got to. Yeah, they got to put. It. Oh, uh, you watched fucking uh, um, weird, right? The Weird Al movie. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Dude, what'd you think? It was good. It was it was good. <laughs> it's stupid. It's stupid, it's stupid it's right? Good. But it was so good. I was dying laughing the whole time. Like if Madonna yeah. becomes a Colombian drug Essential, dealer. Essentially, the entire movie is a parody of, of other, yeah, of other uh, biopics. Uh, <laughs> Which is only right, though. Like it's yeah. like the perfect. Like I went into it like not, not like. I thought there was going to be, like, his story and then some jokes here and there. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. And I was like, wait, and by, like, by, like, 30, 30 minutes, I was like, this seems weird. Yeah. And, then, and then, like, maybe an hour in, I'm like, oh, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's just a parody. My favorite part, though, was, like, who's this Michael Jackson kid? Everyone's going to think I parried, parried him. Yeah. I wrote it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it was just like, oh, my God. It was so amazing. But I, I would love to see an actual Weird Al biopic. But yeah, you know, but his... Madonna's using him to, to, <laughs> to get him to write a song. But you know what? His real life is probably just like... Well, because I, I know, like... Because I, I know some of his things are in interviews. He was like, yeah, like, so... Uh, there was a door-to-door salesman selling accordions. Mm-hmm. And, like, I wanted to learn how to play saxophone or guitar or something cool. And w- during in the moment, my mom knew I wanted to learn an instrument. This guy showed up while I was at school, so she bought me. <laughs> <laughs> she bought me the, the accordion. The accordion, yeah. And that's, like, you know, then from there he started parroting songs. And uh, <laughs> when he did the, when he did the, uh, the punk version, he did the accordion version of, uh, oh, I think it was a Ramon song. What song was it? I think I think, I think it was a uh, the first one. Yeah, when he did Blitzkrieg Bop, when he was uh, auditioning for the punk band, and he's got the accordion and he's doing Blitzkrieg Bop. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and there are the polka party. Come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> like I, that whole movie was. I, it was just it had me dying the whole time. Yeah, it was a fun movie for sure. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna win any Oscars, but and then fucking well, it got nominated. Did so it really? I'm pretty sure it did. That. I didn't know that. I think it is nominated. Daniel Radcliffe fucking killed it as Weird Al. Yeah, it was good. The music was good. Yeah. All that. <laughs> and the way, the way, the way he like, was it like, uh, 
I make this like when he when he flipped out on the band. And he fires everybody. They they all just go home on him, and then yeah. like, they come back to right afterwards. Uh, oh, speaking of awards, so uh, Christopher Judge's uh, Game Awards speech mm-hmm. is now is is officially the longest award show speech in all award show history. In history, yeah. So prior to his, the the long the long so his his was. Let me see here. His was seven minutes and fifty nine seconds, so he was eight minutes into his speech. Mm-hmm. Right prior to that, do you guess how long the longest speech prior to his was? It was like four, probably four minutes, maybe five minutes and thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. So he went over almost the full. Yeah, you know what's crazy is that that speech didn't even seem long to me. It didn't. It didn't. Or that long. Like I knew it was like, hey, he's kind of going pretty long, but yeah. It didn't feel like, all right, get on with it. Like, yeah. Or like, you go to the, you watch the Oscars and you watch fucking Meryl Streep up there for two minutes. You're like, Jesus Christ, just fucking, yeah. just take your award. <laughs> like, just take your award and get the fuck out of here. Uh, oh, this post is gone. But luckily, because of the responses, I know it's what it is. So, uh, Hooters, like Hooters haven't been doing well mm-hmm. recently. I, COVID, hit, COVID hit a lot of people hard. Yeah. Apparently, it hit Hooters harder than anticipated, mm-hmm. um, but they're blame, They're not blaming COVID. Mm-hmm. They're shutting down a bunch of stores to rebrand because apparently, millennials don't like boobs. I already said that on the thread, that it's old. Yes, that is old. It's like four years old. The story itself? Or? Yeah. I didn't know that. Because this was something that I just saw this story like... That day that I posted it, <laughs> and it was like it was like it had the timestamp of that day. <laughs> hmm. So maybe they were just rewriting an old story. Maybe it will. They do that a lot. They're like like I'll yeah. see I'll see like especially like those Snapchat headlines or whatever. Yeah, like it'll be shit that I heard about fucking three months ago, and they're like, "Did you hear about such oh and shit? Such okay, and yeah, that's oh, weird. What the fuck? I'm like yeah. why why did they barely figure yeah. this out? Damn, that's weird. But yeah, I think that's weird though. Like, well, why would like? I mean, I know, like, I guess. Okay, I, other uh, the fact, other than the fact that it's an old story, mm-hmm. like who they're shutting down because people don't like boobs. Yeah. Like I, to me, I mean, no, I, they're not shutting down. They're rebranding, so it's going to be or, a lot more girls with fucking BBLs. Yeah. Instead of fake boobs. But see, that's like. But you know what? To be fair, the last couple times I've been into a Hooters. Like the girls weren't. They're not. They're not super hot. Like they, like you expect them to be. Yeah, exactly, know? exactly. I think it's more of that than. It, it's, it's. I don't think I've been in a Hooters and I've been like, wow. Yeah. All these girls are hot. Right. <laughs> like it's like it's mid. I think I've only ever been in one where like I even thought like one girl was like, especially attractive. <laughs> Well, we went to the one in San Diego. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, that, I think that's the one. Yeah, but, but, but I think they, a lot of them, because they were all in cosplay too, so that helped. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like, I feel like, but I feel like boobs are universal. Yeah. And like, I'm not a fan of the diaper butt look. Like, it's got to match. Like, the thighs have to match. Yeah. Like, if, if, if it's just the butt, is like... You know, yeah, it it is weird when like their hips stick out a lot. Yeah, and then they got the fucking chicken legs. Yeah, you know? yeah, because that's I mean, because it's clearly doctored. It's like that's that is not your ass. That is that is inflated. Yeah. Like the thigh, like that's the thing. The thigh, that's gonna be the name of the episode. The thighs have to match. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, if the thighs don't match, and like it's okay, well, you look like you're wearing a diaper. But I do like I do like even whether it's fake or not. But I do like uh, like when it just like. Like, it just matches, like, it doesn't, maybe not the thighs, but if it doesn't, like, bulge out the hips. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, to make it look like they have an hourglass, but yeah. it's just, like, a bubble. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's kind of hot. Yeah, I'm a fan of that, too. Yeah, but, like, when it, yeah. But see, when it's because when it has the hips, too, uh-huh. and then the, then the thighs don't match, then it's like, like, that's, that's weird. Yeah. That's weird. Like, no. Um, we talked about Metal Gear. Ooh, uh, they're going to do another Avatar? And the next, uh, the next uh, Avatar is going to be an Earthbender. Earthbender, yeah. They're doing a lot of Avatar stuff. They're going to do a movie. Uh, yep. 
with uh, with the future people? What is it with them as adults? Um, yeah, fuck, I forget what it's called right now. Is it with Aang as an adult? It's or? Aang as an adult. Oh, it's, okay. So it's what happened after between Korra and uh, yeah. And you know, I never, I've, I've never watched the Korra one. The Korra's good. I've heard it's, it's good. It's divisive, definitely. Mm-hmm. But it's, I, I think it's good. I, I want to watch it. I want to watch it. So, because Jasmine got really into it. And, mm-hmm. and into the, into the, er, uh, Aang, the Aang avatar. Yeah. And, which I, I've always loved. Yeah. Um, I remember I, I ended up, because I, I always wanted to watch it. I remember watching it for a bit and then falling off of it. And then I watched it again. Like, they, and like Nickelodeon was doing a marathon. And mm-hmm. what made it even better to me was they were doing it. Like, I'm a nerd for, like, behind-the-scenes stuff and, like, little facts here and there. Mm-hmm. And they were doing... Do you remember when um, when MTV still showed music videos? And they yeah. would do, like... The, they, they did the thing called pop-up video. Where, like, you'd be watching the video and then, like, little things would... Bloop, like, so-and-so didn't like this part of the video, but the director did. So we left it in. And, mm-hmm. like, bloop, when they were making this, so-and-so fell down and broke his neck. Like... So they did that for during Avatar, and so it was like, um, so like my favorite episode is, is which is uh, is when Iroh is mourning his son. Mm-hmm. Like it's one of the best scenes in that whole. And so during that, like they you know they they put up like this was Iroh's last scene because the, the voice like they give you the the hints behind the scenes of. Of what happened during the film, like during the making of the show, mm-hmm. or like there were certain things, like so the cabbage guy, yeah, like, you know how he's in everything, and like so there was certain times where like it's like, Bloop, cabbage guy here, <laughs> and like you would like you, like you would see him just kind of mm-hmm. like like he's not he's like he's just in the happens to be in the background, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just like shit like that, like oh cabbage yeah. guy, or like during the like the scene with Mick Foley or uh, the Boulder, yeah. Did you know that was Mick Foley? No, I didn't. Yeah, that's Mick Foley doing the voice of the Boulder. He's trying to he's pretending to be the Rock. <laughs> Like, <laughs> become the boulder. Yeah. So, but like, so, and like they, they, like the little pop ups, like, oh, you know, WWE superstar Mick Foley pretending to be his friend The Rock as the boulder, as like the shit, boulder. Like, like shit like that. <laughs> they would pop up this different level, like things, and that made me like watch it. Like I was like, shit, I love this, and like it yeah. just made me fall more in love with the show. Yeah, chorus. You'll like Cora. The Cora's like different. It's more political, right? It's more political, and then also she's kind of like the opposite of Aang. <laughs> or like Aang kind of struggled to learn each and every, each and every element, right? Uh-huh. Where like she's a natural at all the elements, basically except uh-huh. air. Okay. And so it's uh, it's really about like, and then there's there's a lot of stuff that's in tune with like her personality as to why she can't. Mm. Um, Learn air, and yeah. so it's all about finding, finding like, yeah, yeah, finding herself in that. That's cool. And then that one, the Earth Kingdom villain, right? It's like the no, it's something else. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like a, it's like a faction of non benders. Ah, okay. That are trying to just eradicate benders. Bending. Yeah. Are they they're a bunch of like like tidy? They just they can't bend. Well, there's, there's a guy. There's a, there's a guy who can uh, take away bending. Ah, so he's fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, he but he but he's take, he takes it away through blood bending. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he he himself is a yeah. bender. That's crazy. Um. <coughs> you know what, cr- you want to talk about Jeremy Renner? Uh, what happened? To, what happened to him again? He, he, getting, uh, he got run over by a snowplow. Run over? Yes. Jesus. And I don't know, so the way, the, so it's under investigation because the way the way the story sounds is like either he was operating the snowplow, mm-hmm. got out for some reason and got run over by it, mm-hmm. or he was standing in front of it when the driver got out and it ran him over. Because either way what they're saying is like there's safety features to prevent like this thing from running over someone when no one's in the cab. Mm-hmm. And so he, did you see the picture of him? Like his first like uh, I saw something about like his face, like he had like a big, uh, big scrape or something. Yeah, like, big scrapes. Yeah. I'm curious because like so they're they're saying that luckily like I guess one of his neighbors was a doctor mm-hmm. and saw what happened and came out to uh, administer aid right away. Mm-hmm. But he was losing a lot of blood from his leg, mm-hmm. and they had to put a tourniquet on. Mm-hmm. And so it, like, so when I was in the military, like I learned how to do tourniquets and stuff like that. Same thing with first aid. I, I'm the first aid certified out all that, and they say that whenever you 
apply a tourniquet, like that's usually the last resort to stop bleeding. Mm-hmm. Because when you apply a tourniquet, more than likely the person you're gonna, you're gonna have they're gonna lose the leg mm-hmm. or whatever the limb. Mm-hmm. That's why you're supposed to apply the tourniquet as close to the wound as possible. So it's like, well, I gotta cut so off the arm. You're gonna have to cut off everything. Yeah. yeah. And so, and it, a lot of it also depends on how quickly the tourniquet, like how long the tourniquet's on. Mm-hmm. So I know he was airlifted. So I don't know, but that's kind of like you know, like is he gonna lose a leg? The, the fact that they had to apply a tourniquet to his leg to stop the bleeding. Mm-hmm. Well, if they haven't said anything yet. Yeah, but I mean, it could be something they're keeping quiet too. I don't know if they could keep something like that quiet. I feel, yeah, I feel like some fucking nurse or doctor would be like, "We gotta, we gotta, we gotta cut off Jeremy's leg. We gotta, we gotta cut off Hawkeye's leg. We gotta cut this shit off. I'm so sorry." <laughs> Good point. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I was just, I was just thinking Hawkeye's that. done. It's such a good, it's such a good thing they've already passed the torch on to David Steinfeld. Yep, exactly. <laughs> as they're cutting off, it's like, hey, well, as he's going under for anesthesia, at least you passed the torch already. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got one more before we wrap this up. So, uh, so Warner Brothers is cutting everything. Their James Gunn is redoing everything. And like so, to, even to the point where Black okay, I finally I watched all of Black Adam, and it's not a bad movie. For it's Black not, Adam, Black Adam, it's not a superhero movie. It's not good. It's a rock movie. It's a rock movie. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It is. Yeah. So it's a, it's it's like if you like the rock movies, you'll like Black Adam. Yeah. And that's what it, it's it's just it's not a superhero movie. Mm. I I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for what it was, but it's 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 just it's just another rock movie, mm-hmm. which I mean is not a bad thing. It's just, like, if you enjoy his movie, you'll enjoy this. If but it's not Black Adam. It's not Black Adam, yes. Um, and then the whole thing with fucking, like, with Superman at the end. Like, so, like, Amanda, they bring Amanda Waller in for no fucking reason. Mm-hmm. And then, like, at the end, she's like, so, basically, like, Black Adam, like, at the end of it. So, they bring in the, the what is it, the Justice Squad or whatever the fuck they are? The, they're not the Justice League. They're... The something squad. And hmm. They come in and like they help Black Adam stop this fuck. The, the villain looked fucking cool. Like like he had this these horns. He was like a demon kind of thing. He looked cool as shit. And that final battle was fucking like they did this fight with Doctor Fate. Mm-hmm. Like you know how Doctor Fate like multiplies himself. Yeah. And they kept doing it. Like they're doing this fight scene. And then like you're watching the fight scene. And all of a sudden it was zoom out. And like and, like you were watching it off the reflection of one helmet. And then like the, that guy's fighting. And then like it turns out you're just watching it off the reflection of like. Like visually, it was fucking awesome. Like the yeah. whole fight scene was fucking cool. Like the like everything in the finale was fucking amazing. I loved it. Mm-hmm. Um, but then at the end, so like Black Adam kind of like because they sent him to the prison to Amanda Waller's prison, and like they put him in water so he can't speak and say Shazam and get his powers back and he's just a regular ass dude. And but they need him to fight this demon, so he's a he they Doctor Fate helps helps him escape. And then he goes and fights, right? Mm-hmm. He wins, and they're like, "We're not gonna send you back to that prison. You can, but you can't leave." Could, what's the name of the city? Kadai or whatever the name of the city was. Mm-hmm. Like you can't leave this city, right? Mm-hmm. And he goes, and he's like, "And what if I do?" And so, oh, so Amanda Waller sends a drone in, like a like a fucking. She sends in a fucking. Uh, what's that one from Call of Duty? The fucking one that just rides around. Oh, I want to. It's a, not a Wilson. Wilson. A Wilson? Wilson, yeah. yeah. She's in one of those. And it like projects her face in front of him. And like, you know, you can't leave the city or else. And blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to. Like, she's basically third. And she's, and, he's, and she's like, and he's like, what are you going to do if I do? And then uh, she says something about like, oh, I'll call someone who. Or you, he says, you can't stop me. And she says, no, but I, call, I can call someone who can. And then he just blows up the Wilson. And then all of a sudden, fucking Superman just. Mm-hmm. And they're like, hey, what's up? And he was like. And that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of where it ends. But it's like, well, like they, he says something about like, oh, like it's nice to meet someone that has like similar powers or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Like they seem like, oh, they're cool. Yeah, <laughs> they're buddies. They're gonna hang out. Like, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't. First of all, I don't like the fact that Amanda Waller just like they make it like like she has to remain on speed dial all of a sudden. Like I thought she was like doing black ops and fucking. Task yeah, Force yeah, X. Yeah, she's and like, gotta get the villains. To yeah, to, now, well, but now all of a sudden she's like, hey, Soups, that was a dude. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder, like, maybe it's just a coincidence, maybe... I mean, it could be, but... Like, like Superman's there. 
Yeah, but like the because the way it was like the way she's like, the way they say it is like oh, but we can call someone who can or some shit like that. Yeah. And, and then he shows up, kind of like so. It, like they're implying that she called him in. Uh-huh. You know, what if he's Bizarro? It's Bizarro Superman. <laughs> but see, that's the thing though. So so James Gunn's basically saying none of that's canon. Yeah, which is it's just dumb. Like they gotta. The, how they got, they can't be just making fucking moves. Yeah. Without fucking thinking. Yeah. But so okay, so I so I like re- they haven't they haven't figured out like what their even storyline is. And yeah. They're just shitting out movies. Yes, but see, I say all that and I bring all that up to bring up the point that Warner Brothers, even with this James Gunn thing, is still insisting that Flashpoint be fucking released. Like this movie. No, no, Flashpoint has to release. It has to. I <laughs> Ezra Miller, short of raping a entire fucking village, <laughs> in front of, like an, an entire an entire fucking kindergarten. All right, then then this movie has to come out because there's no other way they can like reset the like, like uh, apparently shit. because so in in a tweet James Gunn said basically like. Flash, Flashpoint is still happening. Mm-hmm. Warner Bros. Like he, like he didn't, he didn't say it. I didn't as, know. I, I didn't know he said Flashpoint. I thought he said he was gonna continue that they can, they're going to continue making movies with them. Yeah, no, they, they said they're so. Or, 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 or yeah, that, like Flashpoint's that. happening, but so we might make more with him if he just fucking doesn't, you know. Yeah, but no, it. but the, so so the Bob so the cool. reason he said that I guess it came out later on. He's saying is that that in meetings with Warner Brothers that they are adamant that this movie be made. That this movie come out and be released and Ezra Miller is The Flash. Mm-hmm. And it's, to me, it's like, okay, like, what? Did he this... must be really, he's got to be really good in this movie. <laughs> he has to be, right? I mean, I enjoy, like, he was one of the more enjoyable parts of the Justice League movies. Uh-huh. But, I, I mean... This movie has to be insanely like he, good. It has to be, it has to be Heath Ledger Joker level yes. like performance yes. for for you to justify all this all this crap. Yeah, to I still mean, be because there's no way that I, I just don't understand how they can be so adamant that this movie be made. Mm-hmm. Like, like how much did it cost them to make? First of all, I have no clue. And then, like, I mean, they they must expect that this movie's gonna just break their bank. Like, it's gonna fucking. I don't know. I don't know if they're expecting that, but I think they're expecting it's it's a very foundation like it's That's, a very important foundational piece for them to just yeah. finally make something good. But you think with James Gunn and because I mean I'm sure James. Well, I don't Gunn think James Gunn has anything to do with Flashpoint. Yeah, but I think James Gunn th- sees this as his opportunity to just to easily or to smoothly lay in his pieces over. Yeah. yeah. Instead of just jamming them in. Yeah, I guess I could see that. I and so it's like, yeah, this movie has to come out. Yeah. Whether whether or not he's <laughs> whether he's yeah. doing stupid shit. Now I don't know about him making more movies unless it, unless it's like they know all the pro- maybe Ezra Miller's been on like a really good progressive yeah thing yeah. lately. He might. I mean, I mean, he hasn't been in the news. Yeah. He, like he, he's been quiet. I mean, they might just be holding him prisoner at Warner Brothers at this yeah. point. Like they're like, brainwashing. You're him. not allowed <laughs> to leave this studio. Like. Every, like, but you know what it is? You know, I bet you this is what they do. They have Ezra Miller on a soundstage like the Truman Show. Mm-hmm. And he thinks he's in the real world stealing shit and kidnapping yeah, people. still doing fucked up shit. <laughs> but he's just doing it on a soundstage at the studios. <laughs> this is just a bunch of actors. <laughs> he's been arrested 17 times. It's all over the <laughs> TMZ. <laughs> Inside of his little Ezra world, the, the Ezra Show. It's funny. Oh my god. I think I'm. Yep. That, that's my theory. I'm sticking to it. I'm putting it out there. I'm. I'm as a matter of fact, I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna create my fake, my own fake IGN post. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Warner Brothers has that <laughs> really trapped in studio, right. thinking he's still in the real world. He still acts a fool. <laughs> uh, leaked footage of Ezra Miller kidnapping actors, thinking they're real people. <laughs> oh shit. I think on that note, I'm just going to wrap this up. Uh, oh, shit, yeah. 
Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash real press start on Twitter at the at real press start on Instagram at the real press start on TikTok at the real press start. Uh, like us, rate us, review us anywhere you get your podcast. Share us with your friends. Now, on that note, game over. No more questions. What are we talking about?